Hi guys, welcome back to CMG Productions. My name is Tom. Uh, my name is Paul, and as we always. Are back playing some Guild Ball. Yes. Season 4 Guild Ball. Season 4 Guild Ball. Broken Guild Ball. Broken Guild Ball. With yeah. two broken teams. And you're playing, obviously, the. Horrendous Ox Butchers, and you're the playing Butchers, the... and I'm playing the. Uh, the little toned down Hunters. The, yeah, right. Giant yeah. Bear of Death. Yeah. Um, Times of need, get the bear. Yeah, so we're going to throw our two favourite teams at each other because we do this at the start of every season, don't we? Yes. Uh, and just see what happens. So we'll go to the lineups and we'll see you in a sec. So my lineup is is pretty changed from what I normally use when I'm playing the Hunters. Um, obviously, Scarth is in there. She is my favourite. Th th I love Theron. I did love Theron, but then when I actually started playing with Scarth, I was like, no, Scarth is so much better. Scarth has so much burst fun potential. Like oh, yeah, yeah, she's, emotions. She's quick and she can she can do a lot. And and one thing I'm I'm gonna try and do in this game is really try and get what I can out of it um, in relation to it. cold snaps and stuff like that. Slowing the butchers down, especially Shank's going to be beneficial. Um, but we've got Vet here to throw out some snared as well. You were choosing between the two hands, weren't you? You went with was, yeah, the bigger really battery. Tall. Yeah, um, not necessarily the bigger battery, just someone I've had more success with, really. I know the other hand brings singled out, which would be ideal for the bear and Chaska, but... No, I'm going to go with that here because I know how to use them a bit more. I am bringing Chaska, who I haven't brought since probably season one. Chaska, Bear, Veteran, Minx with Scartha. Like, the internet will love you right now. Yeah, yeah, it's it's the, the list that apparently is uh, is really good together. With that, I am bringing Veteran Minx for the first time ever, so hopefully I can get some good shenanigans out of here with the traps and setting people up. Yeah, we've got all the veterans on the paint table at the moment, so I've got gutter for mine, so we're going to see how they get on now. And then Snow, Scartha, and the, the bear, obviously because the bear is now just... Horrendous. Horrendous, yes. Snow is really Bring one influence. I, I always, from season two, when they were first released, I said if the bear had one influence, it would make him such a difficult choice to put on the team. But it was like Tendrai's having the second one with the Butchers, but the dog's also useful against Butchers because you can make the dodge. The dodge, yeah, yeah. Uh, the, yeah to kind of get out of engagement. Mm -hmm. But your plan, I suppose, is... I, I'm going to go for two goals, two takeouts. That's really what I'm going to try and so aim bear for. Bear will munch someone, Chaska will shoot someone, Minx is there to help, and then Scartha scores when Scartha scores. Yeah, basically, yeah. I'm, I'm, Scartha's hopefully getting... One, if not two, off Scarther and Vettain's the the other goalie, uh, the, the other goal scorer really that I use. But onto my butchers then. And here is my butchers guild lineup. As we also are going with the conventional wisdom team that is Ox. Sadly, um, Ox has got a six inch. So owner. <coughs> yeah, <coughs> this is the only time we'll see him. He's got a six inch aura for the owner now, and he's also got a three two defense. So he's just, just... scared of the bear. He's just a bit too good. I'm going to say it right ridiculous. now before we record, yeah. either he's got a bigger influence and is easier to take off the board, or he's a bit more tanky and he's still got the four influence. He can't have both. Uh, but at the moment, it's a pain to take out and he's got a massive uh, error of the pitch that can cover I think own. I think Fillet is just so good in season two and season three. It takes a good character to make Fillet relatively obsolete, and until the cooks come out, that's exactly what Ox has done. Yeah. Uh, to that end, Boiler is there with his multiple damage axe throws. On the subject of OP. Yeah, and if you, if you take him, you have to take the princess. Uh, brisket, OG Brisket, because she's taken the one good thing from Veteran Brisket now with the above and beyond goal scoring. Um, Shank has four influence to allocate now, so he's just fundamentally vital in terms of getting across the pitch, chasing down characters that have just can be up. allocated for him. Yeah, yeah and so. the fact that he can just deal a hell of a lot of momentous damage within the aura. Um, so really, the only option was whether to choose option number six as tenderizer for the battery, bore for the extra damage. Uh, but I've gone with veteran gutter simply because we wanted to field her because she's a lovely model, and also simply because she can get off her sweeping charge. And if she is there with Shank with the two two-inch melee zones kind of doing hefty momentous damage, they can really, really rack it up and pen people in for Boiler and Princess to go into. Uh, so I'm all about the takeout to this one. Hopefully get a really, really good legendary turnout box and see if Brisket can try and steal a goal near the end just to try and win. Owner six inches and Ox is legendary. Six it's also inches. six inches. Oh, yeah, it's, it's really, really tasty. <laughs> um, but yeah, we'll see how we get on. So we will go to the kickoff and see how we do. Okay, and this is how things look at the start of the game. And Ox has had one hell of a kickoff there, to be honest, mate. He's punted the ball down to the bottom of your screen there uh, with one hell of a lucky kick. So I got you shotgun, totem, <laughs> machine gun, Chaska, ready yeah. to go and blow the ball up. <laughs> I couldn't think of the, what was the word I was looking for then. Um, 
No, it doesn't matter. No, it's, it's, gone. Gone. it's gone. It's gone. You were really umming and ahhing with your influence, weren't you? Because it was kind of like deciding whether Scarf is going to be a battery or if she's going to be barreling forward trying to bang a goal in. Yeah, so so like I said in the intro, it's it's new to me using veteran Minx and Chaska. Um, oh, well, season four, this is probably only the second game I've played of it, so it's... Uh, Allocation on the first hand is always crucial, I think, in Guild Ball. And that. I don't know whether I've done it right, but I've got a plan in my mind and we'll see where we go with that. We both found it quite tricky, actually, because I know Shank can get to the ball, but getting back is a little bit tricky with veteran Minx there. Uh, so I've played it safe. I've put a few on Boiler for some axes, a few on Ox in case he gets charged, and Shank's there and Gus is there to kind of mop up afterwards. I don't think Brisket needs anything. So we'll go to the first activation of the first turn, which would be the Hunter's Guild. Okay, so my first activation is going to be Scar there. Uh, Chaska is just a little bit too far out of range to just go pick the ball up. So first and foremost with Scar there, throw down Nature's Chill. So I'll give it some fast ground for the team. Uh, I'm then going to spend one influence to create a snowball. And I'm going to just jog with it over the fast ground nine inches. And I'm just going to stop it there. Um, she's then within range of Chaska to pass, so she's got a four dice kick over six. So for the second of her influence, nails it. Nails it. Uh, so that creates one momentum, uh, and I'm not going to be doing any dodges right now with that momentum. I'm going to keep that spare for a minute, and then I'm going to create cold snap and drop that on Ox. So six inch range. So an AoE that kind of appears and then disappears, but he's well within range. Yep, um, and that's going to cost me my final two influence Needing from Scar threes there. threes here, mate. Threes on a big man. Nails it. Success, that, that is. is two, two damage. damage. And the snared condition on Ox. It's tasty, that's already put him in threat range of the bear. That's, well, we'll see. We go right to the wing of the pitch for my first one, and Brisket is just going to make a six inch jog just into the cover here, just to tease Hearn from a distance and laugh at her. Kind of like, you know, Captain America <laughs> levels of OP. <laughs> so my next activation is going to be Snow. I'm gonna pop Feral Instincts on the bear, which gives him anatomical precision, because he needs it. Yeah, because that's gonna really hurt him, isn't it? Uh, and then I'm gonna make a seven inch uh, jog with the bear um, going over. The, uh, sorry, with the snow going over the fast ground. So, just get him just around in front of Scarther, just there, staying within that cover. Doggo for me then. Mascot on mascot. I'm just going to move just to this position here, just to kind of potentially assist with any crowding out and just do dog things. Veteran Minx activation for me now. Uh, first, I'm going to spend one of me mo uh, the one momentum I generated before to put some father's blessing on Chaska. So that's a character play. Yep, and then I'm, and then I'm going to uh, it's a heroic. So yeah, he gets to the he gets to use his boombox essentially. Oh yeah, sorry. Um, and then one influence to sprinter to here. So just staying outside of an inch of the dog, and within two inches of ox. Uh, I'm then going to spend the other two influence to put Mark for Death up on Ox. Two's looking for, he snared. Nails, Nails it. it. Um, token's already there. He, he preemptively, preemptively knew, right, so knew he was going to do it. That's uh, one less influence to charge into Ox and also plus two to the move for the yep. bear. And then I'm going to use her big game traps and throw a trap marker within two inches of it. So I'm just going to pop that around here. Right, I'm going to have to pull the trigger on Ox here, so I'm going to actually spend my momentum to heal the damage because Minx has got that annoying thing where she's fives and one if you hurt. He's going to waddle just to this position here as he's feeling quite poorly, so just within an inch. He's got seven tack base and he's looking for fours and one against the lady. No return because no momentum. So fours and one. It's not bad. It's not bad at all, actually. Two, so three, four, five. One, two, three. Four, five. I think I might knock it down for now. Okay. So we're going to take the non-momentous knockdown. Uh, so that's that one. Swing again. So that puts it down to threes and one. Threes and one, which is a bit more viable now. I kind of just want to push her in the way, but also really want to hurt her. So threes and one. <coughs> Jesus, <laughs> a load of dice. He's cooked these. That's uh, five hits. That's going to be a momentous four damage. Okay. Three up to four, thanks to the owner. I'll put her down to eight. Swing again. 
threes and one again. One away. Two hits. Ugh. It could be the one damage, they ain't tough. I think it will be the one damage, they ain't tough. So the one damage goes down up to two yep. because of the owner. They ain't tough takes the armor away. Okay, that puts it down to six. Final attack. I'm probably thinking about the double push here, I think. Uh, so we're after threes and zero now. Threes and zero, yep. It's probably worth it, actually. Two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, yeah. As much as I want to do the butchery, <laughs> the, the, double the double push is probably going to be necessary. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut away just as so I measure this to make sure we're in the right place. Okay, and we just measured it, and it's going to be really difficult for me to do anything to block off the bear. So all I've done is I've just chucked Minx a little bit over to the right-hand side, just so that she's now within comfortable range of gutter. So it's going to really hurt. <laughs> it's 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 Cena. I've managed to set him up just to about. do all the damage you possibly can do right now, and it looks like it's getting directed towards Ox. So I'm going to spend one to charge Cena in because of Mark for Death. Thanks to Minx before, so that will get Cena to just there, which is within his two-inch melee zone, um, and outside the boxes. I'm um, going to take a defensive stance. You're going to take a defensive stance. Really down. need to. So that puts you down to one momentum. Uh, my defense, though, because you've got feral instincts. I've got feral instincts. Comical. Oh yes. So my twos and one goes up to threes and one. Yes. I believe That's in you. Disappointing. But you are on plus one damage because you. Because you're snared. snared. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so seven tack basic for the bear and then four for the charge uh, he's not engaged by uh, anybody else anybody else so he's all good that them ones great. though great so that is i think it's still potentially a whole playbook uh, how many <laughs> is, that is six hits that's your whole playbook so there's going to be six momentous damage ouch up to seven because you are i'm just in. gonna put a line through the top of his like <laughs> health boxes <laughs> That puts it down to 10 straight away. Yeah, uh, so that is one momentum gained for myself. Ouchie. Um, which I'll just pop there. And you've got another attack to play with here. I've got another attack to play with. And I'm which, down to twos and one now. Yeah, which I am going to bonus time. And okay. you are down to twos and one. So that puts me on to zero momentum. Twos and one. There's too many ones. That so one armor. Yep. Yeah. So one armor away. That is still. Six <laughs> hits. Up to seven. Up to seven. So what did that put Ox down to? Three health. The bear is mean. And you've got your free attack as well. And I've got my feral attack, yep. So you get momentum for that. Do you want a bonus time again? Uh, three or three damage. No, you need I'm not three gonna, hits. <laughs> I'm not going to bonus time this one. So twos and one. Twos and one. I mean... Yeah, I mean, that is, that is overkill potentially. Really. One, two, three, four, five. <laughs> it's going to be... I'm just going to take him away now. Yeah, just take just, him away. Just, just doesn't make a difference. So that is a momentum and a takeout. So another momentum for the kill there. Puts you up to three. Ox just gets bludgeoned to death. But more importantly, that's got rid of the owner. It has got rid of the owner, sadly. And like at the start of the game, I was talking about how tanky Ox is now. And you one shot it in with the other I did, freaking beast on the board. did my best. You know, I can only... Uh, can only kill hard enough. Yeah. So, uh, butchers need to rally back now. Right, after that horrendous display, uh, Veteran Gutter is going to barrel straight into uh, Veteran Minx. So I'm going to spend two to charge. Uh, I'm going to go to this position here to try and catch the bear in the sweeping charge, but I will lose attack because of that. So my five attack goes down to four. I get four for the charge as well. Uh, normally I'd be anatomical, but you've already got the ain't tough, so I'm hitting you on threes and oh. Any reply? Uh, no, you're hitting me, so there's no point defensive stance now. So, threes and no. Um, miss and miss. They have, that was probably the right choice. Three, four, five, and then the wrap. Um, so, sweeping, she's on how much health, mate? She's on six. She's on six health. Uh, so, the sweeping charge will do three. So, I'll take the momentous two, then the momentous one. So momentous two. Then momentous one on the wrap. Momentous one, so I'll put it down to three. And then sweeping charge will trigger, which okay. will do three damage to all models in her melee zone. So that will do three damage to Minx, 
three damage to the bear. Okay, bear has tough hides. There's not place doesn't, damage. Doesn't result, affect it. it. No. Okay. Cool. So that will take Minx out. So that takes Minx out and puts the bear down to eighteen. Now I get a point of momentum for the kill, and I get another point of momentum because of fan favourite. So when this model inflicts taken out condition on an enemy model, the friendly team gets plus one additional MP. So that's not too bad at all from Gutter. So Cheska's a little bit out of sorts here, so I'm going to have to activate him and fortunately I'm going to have to throw his last light on himself and spend some of this hard-earned momentum. Hard-earned, we all have momentous damage. <laughs> yeah, um, well you've, you've managed to wrap up five momentum in space and not. And shut so, up, shut up. Um, <laughs> so, so I think you're going to win on the momentum race there. Uh, and throw last light up on him, uh, which is one of his character traits for free. And then I'm going to spend one of his influence to sprint him up six inches because poor old peg leg is a little bit um it's slow. on the slow side yeah in Does fact put you i'm within... gonna skip over that rough ground so you get plus two team move then don't yeah, you winter's blessing um so he doesn't lose the so distance lose so he doesn't gain anything yeah. from it but he's within six yeah uh, and then I'm going to throw a skewer out. So does last light mean you have to pay the momentum for the character play, or can you pay it you one pay influence it. and then the momentum? No, you pay the momentum for the character play. So it's going to yeah. be two. Uh, spend momentum instead of influence to pay the cost of its next uh, character okay. play. Um, so, so two dice, you're looking for fours on gutter here to try and skewer her? Come on, dice. Oh, oh she dodges the spear as it goes past. Unfortunately. So that means that Hain's last influence is going to be wasted and I am down to one momentum. Okay, we've just moved uh, Hearn forward because he does actually ignore the benefit. Uh, so he ignores the penalty of the rough ground then gets his plus two. Yeah, so you've moved two, him yeah. a little bit further forward. I'd say it's a beautiful thing in this game. Now, especially with recording. <laughs> uh, now the boiler man is stepping up. He's just outside of his six inch walk. So he's going to have to spend two of his influence to sprint into the bear on a charge. Any action, my dear? Uh, you thinking? Ah, uh, what? Has boiler got a knockdown? Yes, boiler got a knockdown three hits. Three hits, so it's just going to be safe to achieve. So we got you are going to farm me for more. Five base, plus one for Grutter. Doesn't make a difference. Plus yeah. four for charging. I'll. Defensive stance. Okay, so you go up to four defense. Four defense, yeah. Uh, no armor because I'm anatomical, you don't have any anyway. Don't have any. So, four's the hit, okay? Uh, it's not a bad choice from you. Not a bad choice at all. So those are misses. Those are misses. So five hits is the full playbook. I will take a. No, I kind of want to pull you into the dog at this stage, but I'll take the momentous four damage with the bleed. So it goes down to three because you're tough hide. Um, it does make you bleed. He's going to swing to attack again. So he's got his five tap base plus one for gutter. Dun dun dun, one, two, three, four, five. <laughs> yeah, this, the I mean, one this model that needed to be a veteran from the this start. Card is, this card is, is definitely a veteran. He's, he's tasty now. <laughs> uh, so now we're back just to hitting you on threes. On threes, yep. Oh, di oh dice. Thank you, dice. Uh, three hits. I'm just going to take the non momentous knockdown. Okay. Just you sit there, bear. You sit, you stay. Down there. You die next turn. Okay, so for me, it's going to be Chaska, and I'm going to get that boom box going. Um, now <laughs> You get all the damage things going to this team. Yeah, that's what I'm going to try and do. So Chaska has a five inch move, which is going to get him to here, and then just measured this out. I'm just in range to blast boiler in the face. Yep, so, so you are I rolling a mighty three dice. Three dice. To potentially do six damage here, because that's totally fair. I'll take it. Yeah. yeah. Um, what's... Boiler's defense. Fours. Fours. There's veteran versions, five. Is it? Okay, we're already making the card, are we, for this? Oh, yeah, yeah, definitely. I mean, I thought he had a two inch melee zone, so I'm not shooting Boiler. Uh, so I'm looking for a single four to do six damage on him. Oh, I'm gonna nail it. Screw this guy. Boiler's just took a <laughs> so big shot to the face. Eight health left. Eight um, health left, ouch. And it does knock him back stupid. three inches. Yeah, we've pre packed this, he will yeah. clip Gutter's base. We'll clip Gutter's base, but it does him out the take him out of the base engagement zone, and then I'm gonna throw one of Chaska's traps down. Um, just about this. Just trying to really annoy Shank, essentially. Yeah, basically. So, so Shank's got to come into the bear and he's going to hit one of the traps. Six damage. Six damage, yeah. 
What are the player testers smoking? Well, this? remember he could do. Oh boom wait, they're all tournament players, aren't they? <laughs> remember he could do boombox three times in his oh, previous version. Just, just well, there was a way to make him do it three times. I imagine Steam Forge at one point were like, right, Theron's really boring, so what can we do? We just put damage I mean, everywhere. You'd think that the lead playtest of the Guild Wars playing Hunters this season. Shut up. <laughs> Should say for any beleaguered Hunters players who wonder why we're ragging on them, it's nothing personal, it's more the fact that we've had two years of waiting for Perkins to buff them. <laughs> and uh, now he's actually been I've allowed always to. I've liked the Hunters, I've played the Hunters since day one. They I know, they, they've had two seasons one. of completely sucking until he was actually allowed to make them good so it didn't look like bias. Anyway, yeah. Shank. I've got an emotional attachment to the Hunters. Two influence to charge, we can just about get a line to there. Just about, you got, you got more than a line. Just about, if I can completely bend his run, <laughs> then he can totally get in. Uh, so you got six attack base, plus four for charging, plus one for gutter. You're twos and at the moment. I'm twos and oh because I'm not on my backside yet. Twos and oh. I've cleverly put Shank's card under the tripod, so this is going to be fun to work out in a second. Uh, twos and oh. What tripod? <laughs> That's all hits. That's Ouch. everything. Ouch. Uh, we were just saying I off so I was just saying <laughs> off camera to Paul, I was like, imagine how painful this would be if Ox was still around. Um, that's quite the rap. That is a painful That is painful quite a tasty rap. rap. I'm going to do the Momentous 3, which go down to 2 because you're tough-hided. And then another Momentous 3, which go down to 2 because you're tough-hided. So that takes me down to 11. Uh, I'm going to attack again. So we take the 4 charge dice out this time. So, six tax plus one for Gutter being there. Twos and zero. He wants to hit you. Ouch. He really wants to hit you. Uh, that's a wrap again. So, three. that'll be a momentous three. And then, it'll be a momentous one dodge. The one won't do anything, but the dodge will still get me the momentum. So, it's sense. momentous Just three down to two. Down to two. And then, and then it'll be a momentous one. one down to nothing, but the yeah, dodge so gets me the down, momentum. So that puts me on to nine. And then, final swing. I'm going to need different momentum counters here. I've run out. So. <laughs> Oh, look, I've got loads here. Oh, there's the ones. There oh, you the go. Ones, That's yeah. fair. Thanks for those. Uh, four successful hits. Momentous nine by any chance? So, yeah. Momentous three that goes down to two. Is three, has he got Momentous three on four? He has. That's what makes Shank the best. Um, so, yeah, that that will do. Well, how many Momentums that I mean? believe I'm on 11 now. F future Tom, you're editing this and you hate yourself. Right I believe, now, yeah, you? I know. So, what I'm going to do to mitigate my pain is I'm going to spend two of them to heal Boiler for health, because my god he needs it after that boom box, which puts him back up to 12. Can I retroactively like heal Ox off the pitch so he comes back on with like full health, you know, can I just like... Hey, no. That's totally in the rules, isn't it? No. Um, I mean, the way the season's going, it, it might as well be. <laughs> um, that's the last activation of the turn, so we will go to the game plans. Well, no one can say that we don't go for it. That was, <laughs> that was pretty heavy. So we believe I'm on nine momentum. There or thereabouts. There or thereabouts. Uh, I, I love the beautiful straight line of butchery here that's ready yeah, to Alchemist go. Yeah, Alchemist would love that right now. The Alchemist <laughs> Smoke, Smoke is just having a dream of this. Yeah. Uh, so we'll go to the game plan cards. I've gone with... You're not going to want to bother with your point. Though. You know that I've got all crap cards, but you'd add four <laughs> onto it just for a laugh. <laughs> so I've gone with wingbacks, which means Ox, when he comes on the pitch, will get shadow-like, essentially. I've gone for an extra momentum. An extra influence. An extra influence. Offside track. Oh, you've gone for the football one. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> <not> nothing. <laughs> yeah, impulse defense. I'm sure it's flashed up at the start of the game. He literally drew nothing. So I just looked at all the cards I had. I mean, I've, I like, drawn, I've drawn cards that would be more useful, but I think just having the extra influence because I was struggling to allocate it before. <laughs> and normally in the second turn, season four, I've you got really a goal. Need, yeah. Um, there, yeah, that's that. The kickoff has done you there. The bear's yeah. taken three damage for bleed, which has put it down to four. Um, yeah. So yeah, I think I am going to go first. Really? I know that was up in the air. Uh, so we're going to the influence allocation and I'll stop being an ass. And here we are with the influence allocation for turn two. And I've, I've called this the fan of death. There's just like a fan of influence around the centre circle. You can see my face right now. It's <laughs> not a happy face. So Ox has came on at the back of the pitch. He's got one influence on him to kind of... He'll get the shadow like from my card and then hopefully sprint forward. Minx at the bottom of the screen has came and snuck and grabbed the ball to bring that back into play for you. Yeah, because... Because it needs to be. There's no way I'm winning a fight now. <laughs> Chaska's got four for boombox things. Paul's got the hilarity of potentially Ox getting up the pitch and then just getting blasted straight back down the pitch again. Uh, Scartha's pretty loaded up. I mean, depending on who you activate. That's the question. I'm, I'm potentially just going to blow somebody I away. really want to get the owner aura up, but to be fair, I feel like Gutter's probably the right track. So anyway, four on Gutter, four on Shank, four on bo um, Boiler because reasons they're just going to be able to outpour damage. 
Yeah, he can't trigger his axe thrown off the playbook. Can he, he can't, sadly. The veteran version can't. Is that the way it's going to work? Yeah. Uh, Brisket is sat on nothing at the top of the pitch because the idea is if Minx does bank a goal in, then the ball goes on Brisket and she hides. She hides like a man away from her, essentially. Um, so, yeah, your thoughts, mate? Just see what happens once the bear's dead. Kill the <laughs> yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. Um, Chaska's got his boom box, I threw a couple on Minx because she's, she's not bad at football. She's got a good move on her and she can, she's got a good kick. Uh, Chaska had the same. You know, the, the season four hunters have all had a, a really good buff, so they're all, it's really difficult on who to put stuff on. Normally, this would be. I will go after Boiler with Jakar, but yeah. I'm not using Jakar. The extra influence from your game plan is going to help out though, because the Hunters could always do with that extra influence. Oh yeah, we could ex do an extra influence from a goal, to be honest with you. Shame Scarf the snowballs don't generate like... 4 VP every yeah. time. No, not 4 VP. Well, 4 VP, yeah, but like an extra influence, because technically he's scoring a goal. Yeah, well, you know, Actually. he's easy to check his cards. <laughs> anyway, we'll go to the first activation of turn two, which will be the Butcher's team. Okay, Gutter is going to start for me then. She's going to spend one of her four influence to take a swing at the bear. So she's got five tap base, plus one because Shank is engaging it, looking for twos. It's on its bum. Uh, twos on the bear, yeah. Twos. Everything hit. Ouch. So that's five. Then the wrap. The wrap won't matter because you've got tough hide. So that'll just be a momentous three, which will go down to two. She puts the bear on. Two, two helps. Do it again. Uh, so one away, full playbook, momentum three, which will go down to two, which will a kill him. For the bear. So we get a momentum for the momentum for the damage, momentum for the kill, and a momentum for fan favourite. Yeah. So uh, put you on uh, four already. Four victory points. Yeah. She's pretty solid there. As well. uh, Is it four victory points? Four VP. Yeah, yeah, yeah. got two takeouts. She's then going to spend two to charge to here. So she's going to charge this position, outside of two, outside of two, obviously engaging her, and she's charging into her. Okay. Uh, any action? Uh, for him? Yeah. So five base, plus four for the charge. Well, nothing a down won't make a difference because she's got nothing left to do. She could spend momentum to heal anyway. Yeah, she could spend it to heal. Um, I've got one influence, uh, one momentum. I will make a defensive stance. Okay, so what's his stats then? So Hain is a two inch melee zone. No, what's his, uh, has he got any armor? Is the question oh, I wanted to ask. Yes. All right, so he loses his armor to anatomical. Goes up to four. So you're four and zero then, that's yeah. what we need. So five plus four. Looking for fours. Oh, it's not a great roll. It's not very good at all. Uh, miss, 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 miss. A successful two hits, that is. That's going to be a momentous... Has he got tough hide? Uh, no. Thank God. Don't. That is momentous one damage. <laughs> um, however, her sweeping charge will then do three damage to Hearn, to Snow, Not Snow. and to Scarfa. Oh, so, you've just activated loved creature. I have indeed. Uh, Scarfa takes three as well. So Scarfa goes down to 11. 11, Snow 2, 5, and Hearn... To 16. Now I've also triggered feral instincts, but I doubt you want to really be dodging anyone towards the dog at this stage. I mean, I could dodge him to engage uh, even more, which got to inch melee zone. Yeah, you've pretty much engaged each other. Um, that's why I went to charge him, because ideally I probably would have gone into someone else. But anyway, I am going to spend two of the momentum that I've just generated just to heal Boiler back up to full health, just in case Chaska decides to do... <laughs> yeah, he's reloading his gun. Um, Is this Chaska's... Resin version, is it the gunpoint mount? The one that's coming out for the, is it the PVC, whatever the, it is. The resin. The, yeah, yeah, the resin. Runs. Yeah, it will. Oh, nice. So it'd be awesome. So you could have like, we could use two different models, like as he's pointing it out and then we're just reloading. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, I was thinking. Right, we'll go over to the Hunters for their first activation. Right, so my activation is going to be Hain. Uh, it's going to be a little bit tricky. You're um and ah what, what's your positioning here, won't you? Yeah, um, so... You need momentum. Yeah, you're going to... Try to farm um, Beck Gutter for some momentum. So, uh, five attacks, basic. Uh, I've got three influence on Beth Hain. Plus so, one for your love creature. Yeah, so five attacks, basic. Uh, five attack, basic, plus one for love creature. Looking for four plus one. Oh, that wasn't oh, great. That's... That was one hit. Uh, and some armor, yeah. Yep. Yeah. Uh, buy another attack. That's, that's a bad <laughs> roll. Very, very unfortunate. Chuck my BMX there on camera then. Yeah. Uh, Better. Better. Um, three net hits. Uh, I'm going to go for the momentous knockdown. 
That will put her on her bow. We've got another token just here. Yeah, indeed. That puts me up to one momentum. Uh, sorry, two momentum. I'm going to buy another attack. So I'm now looking for threes and one. Again, still five attack with love creature. They're not loving you. They're not, indeed, Arnie. That is two net, hit. two net hits. One non momentous damage. Just yeah. Puts it down to, to do 13 that. health. So that will be one non momentous damage. Do you want to teleport anyway? Yeah, and I will teleport her using uh, Lunar Eclipse. So you just so put within an inch of her, basically. Put within one inch of it. And um, we're just going to pop them to there. Which he should now be engaging, engaging everybody. <laughs> Shank and Boiler. Uh, right, here's the <sighs> the dilemma. Do you want to heal him? <laughs> no, it's not. It's not. Do you want to heal him? Do you want to throw up last light on him? Just thinking. Where have you got this second momentum yeah. from? Because you took a defensive stance on a charge, didn't you? I did, didn't I? Right, so I can't even... That can't helps your decision-making, yeah, yeah. so you've got yeah, one so momentum one current. momentum, sorry. I just didn't move the, uh, the momentum away. Uh, right, so... I'll have to throw Last Light on Chaska. Okay. So, Last Light allows him to use uh, momentum. Momentum for a character play instead. Which means you're, you're readying the Boombox Barrage. Potentially, yeah. Boombox is only once per turn. You sure you want to chuck up Last Light on him? Because you've got the influence to use it. Yeah, that's true. Um, no, I'm going to throw Last Light on Scarf instead then. Okie okay, dokie. Okay. That seems more sensible. Easy one for me then. Princess is just going to scoop just round this position here, drawing a line of sight to Gutter, spending two of my momentum just to heal it off her knockdown. So I'm going to activate Chaska after much deliberation about whether to activate Scarter or not and I'm just going to use his boombox, so hopefully all this goes to plan. I'm just going to move him to here where this token is, just because we measured it out, and I'm going to blast Veteran Gutter. So, three influence. So that's going to cost four, me three. Three dice. Looking for a four plus. Well, it gets the five there, so it's uh, six damage, is it? Six damage it is indeed. Still hurts, puts it down to seven. And she's blasted directly away four inches, so she will just finish up there. Wasn't too bad. Still got um, one influence to play with. I have, so I'm going to put Tough Skin on Hain, because I think he's going to need it. So it's plus one armour. Plus one armour, um, and then I'm going to throw a Trap out. Um, and two inches of Chaska. Shank wherever you go. Just just to clip clip a chance wings a little bit. Well that's that's, um, that's six damage is just pain. <laughs> it's good, isn't it? I wasn't a fan of Chaska in season three. Ox then for me gets to make a two inch shadow like move because of my wingbacks card. He's gonna spend one of his influence to sprint just next to the apprentice boiler, and he's gonna chuck up his legendary play. Get them, lads. So that is another six inch aura. That's plus one damage and minus one armor to enemies nearby. Hunter's captain's gonna step up to the fray. Um, I like that you bunched them all together again because this is gonna be painful. AOE time. Yeah, um, so I'm gonna spend two to do a cold snap. Um, so I've got a six inch range on that, so it's just gonna target sort of the back line. So it's over yeah, you boiler. Don't want to hit princess, basically. I don't wanna activate love creature because they don't need any more damage. Uh, any more attack even. Um, so, what am I looking for? Shank first, you oh, need shank. Okay. fours. Fours on Shank. Uh, Gets so it. Two damage and snared. Two damage and snared indeed. Uh, boiler, fours. Two Same damage again. and snared. And Ox, threes. Ox is threes. Same oh, again. Two damage and snared. Oh, oh, dear. Puts Ox down to uh, seven. He's not really feeling that healthy Good. at all. You get snared, you get snared. Everyone gets snared. You did um, forget to put your fast ground down. Forget to put my fast there, ground so. down, so I'm just gonna pop that there where so I intended it to go. Eight inch range, is it for Eight it? inch range on it, yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. Um, and then I'm going to um, move out with Skather. Here's seven inches. Uh, so, I'm just gonna do. Mosey around the back of two, the. Uh... Two. Two to there, and then, yeah, I'm just gonna pop it there actually. So, that's about six inches on a basic move. Going to create a snowball, and I am going to pass it to Vet Minx, who is within six inches. So four dice kick. Four dice kick. Looking for 
Osh. You're after the dodge here, aren't you? Nailed it. Nailed it. Uh, and I'm going to spend that momentum straight away to do a four inch dodge forward with Minx who is carrying the ball. Oh, let me get that. Go for those precision measurements there. Indeed. <laughs> that means she is now a goal threat, so I actually do need to worry about her. <laughs> I don't really think you've got to worry about it when you've got Ox right in the mix there with Shank and... I just want to roll some dice. That's essentially what I want to be doing yeah. here. So let's see how that goes. Right, it's part of the game that every butcher's player likes, and that's when Boiler actually gets to murder something. So we're going to move. We're going to mosey very slightly into base contact with Hearn. We've got four influence to play with. So I'm going to spend one to make a round of attacks. So I have got five tap base, plus one for Princess, plus one for Assist, plus one for Shank. You're on minus one armor because of Anatomical. You're also on minus one armor because of Ox's Legendary. Which cancels out Chaska's mug, uh, tough skin. And oh. I'm on plus one tack for the owner, plus one tack for Get'em Lads, plus one tack for Assist. So plus three, uh, plus three damage, sorry. So your defense is... Threes. Threes and zero then. Our five, six, seven, eight tack. Threes and zero. See what we can do. Uh, that is two misses. Three, four... Five. He hasn't got tough hide or anything, has he? He doesn't, no. So, the momentous four will go up to momentous seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And the non-momentous one will go up to non-momentous three. Mm -hmm. Oh no, okay, we're non-momentous four, actually. That puts me down to five hit points, but it does trigger Snow's pack mentality, which means I'm just going to dodge him back an inch, but unfortunately... Yeah, you're basically, still basically be... the dog and boiler, aren't you? So. Yeah. It's still going to be engaging me. So you're outside of Shank's range though, so I will lose a dice now. Uh, so I'll swing again. Five tap base, plus dog, plus dog. And we are after threes again. Yep. Oh, bad dice roll. Bad dice roll. It's two hits. Momentous two will go up to Momentous five. Which is a takeout. Uh, so get another momentum for the takeout there, which puts me up to four. Let's bop him in away. Ouch. Uh, that puts you up to six victory points. It does put me up to six victory points. Now, while I'm thinking, I'm going to spend a momentum to heal Boiler's snared just before that starts causing issues. And I am going to spend my last two, I think. I should be doing bleed as well, but the bleed doesn't matter. I was just going for the kill. I'm going to spend two to try and chuck some uh, axes at Chaska. Oh. So, two influence. You are looking for threes on Chaska because I'm not in any cover. Threes. Oh, I'm tempted to bonus time it. I am going to bonus time it. So, three dice, looking for a three. Bonus time that time. Gets it just as well that I did. So that would be three damage, but it goes up to two, five, because I get the owner and get them, lads. So, five damage to Bad damage. It's not that six. Not six, because the dog is not engaging. Oh, because the dog's not engaging. And it also does the bleed condition to you. Um... That. Chaska is suddenly not in a health It's like, situation. well, you've got a gun, I've got axes. <laughs> I'm really angry and I have axes. Um, yeah, that'll do. Well done, Boiler. So after Hain just being taken out, I'm just going to have to try and... <laughs> Get some points. Snap, snap a goal in so it's not a completely humiliating defeat. I'm, I'm happy it took Ox out. Yeah, to um, be fair, the one destruction smattering yeah, that was. Yeah. Um, so Mink said she's just outside the tapping range. We've just measured it. She's a tiny bit couple out. of millimetres out, yeah. Um, so I'm going to spend one for a sprint. So she's got a nine-inch sprint basic. Uh, goes up to two, uh, goes up to 11 over the fast ground. She's really nifty. She's so quick. So she's going to get to there. And just as she's passing, she's just going to throw a trap out as well. Um, just to really pen shank it. Just, yeah, yeah. Just to, uh, just to make shank think about life decisions, you know. <laughs> Uh, I just knocked that trap with the. Thing. It's okay, you're surrounded by traps. Chaska yeah. lives with the, the yeah. trap. You <laughs> take the ball the with you, don't forget I'm that. I'm going to take the ball with me because that's important when you're trying to score a goal. And, and then a shot of momentum. A shot and a momentum. So three dice kick, I think. Three is. dice kick. Um, so looking for fours. Oh, oh a screamer! I'll take it. It's two momentum back. Two momentum back. Um, Do you want to dodge anywhere? To be perfectly honest. Uh, you're probably going to munch through Chaska. Chas Chaska's the target currently. Yeah, yeah. Um, she's probably not safe, actually, um, based on her current health situation. So I am... Do you want to quickly pre-measure it? No, you know what? I'll, uh, I'll, I'll leave her there. Um... <laughs> <laughs> oh, God! 
In fact, no, you know what? I'm going to dodge you. Okay. Just a, a yeah, she's still in shot. You, still in you shot run away. You run away. Uh, I'm going to dodge her to just just off camera here so she can be a... Well, no, actually, I'm just going to dodge her to here so she can potentially be a little turret for me. Okay. If you, you ever see me. the ball again. If I ever see the ball again. Right, so I'll boot it out and go to the bushes. ball coming away. <laughs> Shank then is going to try and do another kill. He's going to move ever so slightly to trigger this trap, which will deal with him a point of damage, but get rid of it. He's got four influence to play with. I'm going to spend one of my momentum straight away just to heal my snared condition, just so I don't forget afterwards. Uh, outside of Chaska's one-inch melee range, so I'm going to spend one to swing a round of attacks. So I've got six attack base. Chaska definitely should have uh, like a two-inch melee. Well, oh, because just these shotguns, shotguns people. Yeah. He just should be like stuck. You know yeah. should have. You should have a, a free counter attack on the charge. You know, someone runs in. And you just like. He is like Stoker with them. a double push on the first hit, though. In the sense, he yeah. just fires the shotgun to get them out of the face. Yeah. Um, Chaska's on threes and zero because of Ox's legendary play. Oh yeah, Chaska's getting eaten. Yeah. And Shank is on plus two damage to his attacks because of both of the auras. So we're after three pluses, I'm just going to start bonus timing these because I kind of want him dead. So. Uh, that's probably just as well. That's, Two successful hits. That's not bad. That's a momentous four. Still <laughs> momentous four off two hits. Um, right, that has put Shank. Uh, sorry, that has put Chaska down to seven. I'm not going to bother with a bonus time this time, then. Uh, so, six tack. Looking for threes. Uh, miss, miss, miss. Three hits is going to be another two up to four. Two, three, Mentus. four, so that puts me down to three. So again. And that is Chaska gone, I take it? Uh, yeah, because I can't do any less than three damage, so. <laughs> <laughs> Momentous, yeah. uh, one up to three, yeah. One up to three, okay. So, so that's Mentus, 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 Mentus. taken out. Uh, Shank does get to make a dodge because of his, all of his damage does dodge damage. Uh, so he's gonna dodge. To there, hmm. he's gonna spend his last one to make a. Where did they go? I believe. Where's he coming? He's going towards Minx. He just wants to make sure that Minx is aware, so he's just gonna dodge himself just to basically the line. Just here. No, just. Minx is aware. Gently sure. rotate so you can see that Minx is now very aware of the pain that's coming. Uh, but decent innings. Yeah. So we forgot to mention before, after the uh, the, the kick off, that the ball went over towards Brisket's direction, and she was in range to pick it up. Um, so she she got hold of the ball. My last activation of the turn is going to be Snow, and then we've got Brisket who's holding the ball. So Snow is just seeing this onslaught of blood painted. Um, <laughs> the smear on the middle of the pitch. Yeah, she is just going to dodge, just to be on cover, just to give Skate a little bit of support if needed. And we'll go to Brisket. Brisket for me then, it's just gonna move just to this position here in the center of the pitch, try and stay away from anyone popping back on to engage her. And then she's ready just for a bit of a, a joggy super shot. So that'll take us to the end of the turn. So we'll go to the game plans. Right, that was a hell of a hell of an onslaught by the Butcher's Guild in turn two there, but you've managed to snag a goal, mate. So it's still 8-6. It's a it, game of scoring goals. It is. Uh, it should be. Minx is in a nasty position as well. If you can get the ball off Brisket, she's in tasty snapshot range. So we think I'm on four. We think you're on two momentum. So no, I am on two momentum. You definitely are. no thinking I am on two. So game plan wise, I've gone for a plus five. Wow, I've gone for a plus five. Ah, so I've gone for the go for the knees, which is a friendly non-captain gets plus one. So I thought, you know what I'm gonna try and do with this turn? I should have gone for the plus one influence, which is still got one. <laughs> well you've got your goal influence to play with. Uh, you've got full back, which means that if you're within eight inches of the pitch, you spend one influence for a charge. Yep. So we will go to the influence allocation for the third turn. And here's the picture at the start of the third turn. You can see I've given Shank the plus one tack so he can go and chase after veteran Minx. Four on Brisket so she can try and chase the goal and you can see Paul has pulled on three goalkeepers to pull that duty. Yeah. Uh, four on Boiler because uh, he's there with Princess in the middle of the pitch near Ox. So that's all he needs to have. And one on Gutter just because she's bear bait at this stage, I think, really. She's going to get killed. Um, but, you know, just in case. How about you? Right, so I've loaded Scarther up because Captain... Uh, four on Chaska and two on the bear. You just want to output a lot of damage before I score yeah, this goal. Yeah, it's possible. So, well, what, what's the score? It's six. Six, six eight. Six eight. So, I, I can, there's, there's 
potentially two takeouts. Yeah, so you want to um, blast someone in the face and blast then bear them. Blast someone in the face and bear them. Um, I need to do some damage at range, so Scarth is cold snapped. Can fill that in. Chuck so. those snares back out. Yeah, uh, see where we go with that. But, yeah, I'm, uh, I, I, I think I'm convinced that after the second I, activation this game I think we're probably there. on the final run yeah it depends on brisket really I think Shank, depends on your dice roll then, it does and they've been quite good so far we so just watch said it before, all fall this, apart. This, the three turn game is going to be good preempting that yeah. this game isn't over it's about to turn into an eight turn yeah, game always the way so we'll go to the first activation the third turn which will be the butchers I forgot to say I'm going first here okay so Minx is on six health Shank is just going to move to this position here with his super bendy chains which I'll be glad when they're gone with the new models um, he's on plus one attack, he's within six inches of Ox to get the owner aura. He's going to spend one of his influence to attack. Do you want to respond with anything, mate, or take it like a champ? Oh, I'll, t I'll take it like a champ. Right. You just... Oh, you know what? Um, I counter attack. You get a counter attack, yeah. okay. You are just outside of the cover. So, yeah. six start base. Let's see how we do. Fours, is she? Yeah, she's fours and one. She's fives and one, actually, because Shank is it's injured. injured. Yeah, so you are fives and one. Thanks to heightened senses. So, see how we get on here. Uh, oh, that's very lucky. So one successful net hit is going to be a momentous one, which will go up to a momentous two. Momentous one, which will go up to a momentous two. And I will respond with a counter attack of five dice. Uh, you've got a double dodge on four hits. It's whether I dodge into base to base. I'm going to dodge into base to base with you. Uh, just to make sure that you can't run away from me, essentially. That is me. Uh, you've got those one space there, mate. You're after fours. Fours, any armor? Uh, no armor. Oh, right, really? It's a veteran version. <laughs> uh, fours, uh, that was awful. <laughs> uh, two hits, that will be. You know what? I'll just give you the two damage. Two damage? Yeah, may as well. That is a smart move because now I've taken five on nine, so even if I heal, you're still going to be on fives. Yes. Uh, so I am going to heal for the sake of healing, so I'll spend the momentum that I just. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. That would be stupid because I want to kill you. Right, so I'm still within. <laughs> I'm still within Ox's aura because I might as well spend it on the bonus times. So I am out of Ox's aura. Oh, fail. Right, so I'm going to have to attack here. Six tap base. I'll bonus time it. And I'm just going to have to dodge back outwards. Oh, it's poor play. Uh, I forgot to roll an extra dice. Oh, I'm an idiot. Seven tack, actually, because I've got my plus one for the card. So seven tap base, plus one. Fives and one, I'm after. Fives and one, indeed. <sighs> two hits is going to be a momentous two. Momentous two, that leaves me down to two. Right, I am going to dodge <laughs> back here. Um, so we'll swing again. You're down to two health. I am down to two health. Do I bonus time? <laughs> yeah, I'm going, to bon on five. I'm going to bonus time just so Shank can try and get the kill here. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. The bonus time. Fives and one. Yeah, he really wanted her dead. Uh, that's going to be the Mentus 2. Mentus 2. Up to 3. So, that's a take out take for Vet Minx for the second time in the game. Puts me on 10 VP. Uh, I've got a dodge to play with after that take out, so I'm just going to dodge to this position here. And then I think I'm just going to spend my last one, probably just to keep doing this where did they go little shuffle dance. So I spend my last one just to where did they go over to this position here. Can you remember what you're trying to do here? Uh, yeah, I've wrote it down. Like, like this, this like is the type of stuff they found on the craft and this not. Is, <laughs> isn't that what they sent on like the Voyager for aliens to find? <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna try something. You're gonna try and score. I'm gonna somehow. try and score. Yeah. Um, so Scarth has got six influence, but Paul has scattered it around amongst this mess of widgets because you think you can possibly dance your way around. Possibly. Go and it'd be it. really cool if I could. So I'm going to throw down the icy ground, Nature's Chill, which is already there. I'm going to spend one influence to sprint to engage Boiler here, which has already been pre-measured. Yep. I'm going to buy an attack. So you want to spend your legendary as well, though, first. Oh, sorry, yes. My legendary is going to pop up. So such a helpful that, player. That's already failed. So that gets you an extra dodge. That gets me an extra dodge on a playbook result. I'm looking for... Fours and one against fours Boiler. Fours and one off fire attack. And I you get, get one, success one hit. which is... Less than what I need. No, it's not. Two. And it does generate me a point of momentum, so I'm early on. So you've got a momentous, what are you going to do? A momentous dodge. I'm going to do a momentous dodge and add an extra dodge from your legendary. Which, which is a two inch dodge, which we pre measured there. Which I'm going to start moving widgets away <laughs> as we use them. Widgets. Okay, so just pop that there. See, so you're within an inch of brisket now. I'm within an inch of brisket now. I'm going to spend one of these influence to pop up 
Blessing of the Moon Goddess, which gives me a double dodge on the playbook result. I'm going to buy an attack on Brisket. She's fours and one. Fours and one. I need... You're looking for the tackle here, aren't you, really? Yeah. And I get it. So that is a double dodge to this position here. So that is a momentous tackle. Um, but you get the dodge because of your character's play. I get... I get... He's, he's broken. <laughs> you get a momentous double tackle. Double dodge because of my character. And double play. dodge because of your yeah. blessings. And you get another dodge because yeah. of your um, legendary. Yeah, stop. I'm confused. Yep, yeah. yep. Yeah. Get you to that. Okay. And then I'm going to... Uh, you, you are within a three-inch dodge here yeah. now. With okay. the ball. <laughs> so this comes up. It's going to be amazing. I'm going to buy an attack on Shank. I'm going to counter-attack just in case you don't get it. <laughs> hey, what's threes? Uh, fours for Shank. Fours and nothing. So I'm looking... Yeah, I don't know what I need. Do you want to bonus time this? Uh, I do want to bonus time it, yeah. I'm so oh, nice. Yes. I do want to bonus time it because I wasn't expecting to have the... There you go. <laughs> Wolf looks as the kid. Watch him messing up on the last roll. <laughs> Don't. Uh, fours. <gasps> three successful hits. Three successes. That is a momentous, a uh, non-momentous double dodge, which goes up to a triple dodge, because which gets me to where they needed to be. Just because of me legendary. Such. I'm going to spend one. And you watch her miss this shot God, now. Don't. You've got no momentum for the bonus. <laughs> One and my... Four dice. Influence. Best of luck, because this is ridiculous. Well, make sure they're all on camera. I want to see these threes roll. You need four plus. I'm not looking, I'm not looking, I'm not looking. <gasps> He's down it. <laughs> Fair play. He's dancing. Yes! <laughs> oh, but we think that's all right. That's brilliant. That's ridiculous. So Scarf is just I'm, basically... I'm genuinely in shock that we've just managed to do all that. Scarf is just... I'm just surprised we've done... Wait to the comment section tell us what we're Oh, yeah, doing. yeah, totally. But Scarf has just comments. danced down the entirety of the middle of the pitch and banged that And by the way, that, that was like just completely down to dice roll. Yeah, you were just going to charge me with the bear to start with. Fair play, 10 points. I mean, ten all. Ten all. I, I and need... I've got a takeout coming next. No, <laughs> Gutter's going to run away. Gutter's going to run, run far away. away. <laughs> right, I'll boot it back out. A frankly ridiculous goal there. Absolutely ridiculous. Can't get the pen off Scarthus car. <laughs> <laughs> you can't get the ravings off. Um, the ball's scattered just in front of Brisket as we booted it back out. So we're going to see if we can wrap this up. I can't dirty knife Scarthus because I need my super shot. So I'm going to spend one to sprint. She's got an eight inch Why sprint. Would you dirty knife just Scarthus? as a screw you as a run pass. Uh, so I get an eight inch sprint, but I get an additional one if I clip it here. So I get an additional two. So seven, eight. 9, 10 to this position here. I'm going to spend a second point of influence to pop up Super Shot. If I miss this, Gutter dies and you win. And in no point do I think that like I had lost control of this, but never mind. Uh, one for the shot. One point of momentum spent as well. Brisket has got a three dice kick. It goes up to four because of a super shot. She's within tapping range because she's got a 10 inch kick now, thanks you to super shot. You don't nail this, you only need three. You What's say three? that, famous last words. Famous last words. <laughs> oh, hey, oh, just about gets it. We'll go for the, the side on handshake there. Well done, well done buddy. Who would, that, that was not going to be 12 10 at the end of the last <laughs> turn. That was ridiculous. It was um, like, I was, I was, we'll talk about We'll get to the post match, we're too excited. <laughs> Well, if it was like a play of the game in Overwatch, I think you won it with that scarf. Like, oh, that was that That's was amazing. See, I'm actually okay at Guild Ball when it comes to like thinking I can. <laughs> and I actually think oh, that that's something I could possibly do. Well, you have four hours to plan your activation. Yeah, we've got loads of time to plan the activation like we do between cuts. That was so but, good though. But just, in a tournament, I'd never have got that off. I'd have just gone, yeah, I'm just going to go and not have a 6-12 defeat and try and eat. Uh, and just want to kill something. Off. Yeah, and kill veteran gutter. But I thought, you know what? Scarthers can do a lot of stuff. And I was looking can, at a card. That legendary play goes like, so far across the pitch. Yeah, I was looking at a card and I was like, a legendary play is really good. That makes extra dodges. She's got loads of dodges. She can tackle the ball from Brisket yeah. easily. But it's, can she score the goal? And then when I started thinking... Dodge, do bless the moon goddess, and as soon as it got, as soon as it all sunk in, I was like, I, I can, I can score a goal. She's one of those like, no, you can't. She's one of those captains that when you've got six influence on it, she can do something special. Like yes. some of them are just like six influence and six attacks. Yeah. But she can do something sure. incredible across the bit or ballista. You or know, ballista, like can do yeah. a couple of things. But like she's really, really good at dancing across, and 
I spent all that time at the start bigging up how Ox is just stupidly powerful and destructible now, and you wiped him off with one charge. Yes. The bear ate him. Too dead. Oh, in all fairness, the bear was... The bear was also very strong. <laughs> yeah, the bear was tooled up yeah. with the design of, if it's not Ox, it's somebody yeah. on range. And it just happened to be Ox. Well, we were saying at the end of that like first turn, though, all those attacks that I had at the end with Shank and Boiler, imagine them under the owner aura. It's just horrendous. The damage output is ridiculous. We knew that you managed to take off in the first turn. That was Vet Minx, wasn't Vet it? Vet Minx and the bear at the start of the second. And the bear at the start of the second. And, the and then Chash as well. just incredibly damaging with that legendary up as well. Mm -hmm. um, that being said, as much as I'm happy to win, he needs to go back down to three and one. Because people, people need to see him and focus on taking him off the board. Yep. Because that's the way he's supposed to play. He's supposed to have this big aura that makes everyone strong and you've got to wipe him off the pitch to give Bry yourself a turn of breathing space. Yeah. Whereas it's just, with threes and two, every time I've gone against him or I've played with him... You felt like he's, he's, he's not, just, he's just he's not going down as quick as he, uh, he should be. No. And I think, you know, Philip 5s and 0 on 14 boxes. She's yeah, pretty... She's, got, yeah. she's, she's supposed to be a little bit quicker. Yeah, um, she's... she's but, but Philip, it's the thing that's one thing I've always disliked about Philip is she's fives and all, but the amount of damage she can take, she can she can dish out. She can dish out quite a lot. But now Ox can do it, and it's arguably a little bit stronger. It's a weird arms race now of like what they're going to do with the butchers because Philip originally had a three eight kick in mm -hmm. design. So do they give that back to him, and she becomes a stupidly powerful strike and do damage, or do they knock him down? I think the answer is to knock him down. Um, you just want Philip to be amazing again. She, no, because I well, I don't know if we can name them yet. I know we all know that Roast is the one from Cooks, but the other Cooks player yeah. is I, I don't think she I've that. does things very well. Right. And gets up the pitch very well. And Philip, Brisket, Gutter and her all will bang run. a lot of goals right. in as well as killing things. Um so I think it's just that kind of two in front. I don't want to mind about it too much because design is design and we're at the stage with Gilball now that we just throw the models that we like to play. Yeah. Um one thing we did say at the end though is we're looking forward to get more veterans on the pitch because we've got the two boxes now, so Decimate and Sakana and Hemlock. Oh I just want to come on just before we go up go on to veterans. I want to come on to Chaska. Oh yeah, the I've six not used blue Chaska blue in season four at all. I don't think I used him in season three. He barely got a look in season three. Season really. two Chaska was he was good. Was it the push and the knockdown from the boot? Six damage now is just such an amazing Six damage is, off is three influence. unbelievable. But what it used to be with boomboxes, it used to be a four inch push, I think. But you, with blessings and stuff like yeah. that, you, you were able to do it a couple of times. Three times a yeah. turn. That's what made Chas get so good. But again, it was similar to the bear, the settle Set side of it. But now just walk up six three damage. Influence, six damage. And the fact that you can get the snare down so push. readily. Yeah, the snare as well, so readily there. Oh, yeah. You're hitting most things on threes. I mean, it didn't. Dish out a lot of snare, but when it did, I think I only really dished it out off uh, Scarther. Yeah. But when it was we out, we did hit most of my team. Yeah. When it was out, it was that that aura, that cold snap yeah. aura, really good, and that tied in with Chaska's boombox as well. Would you change any of your players, or do you think that really is like? Because you said about yeah. veteran Hearn, but realistically, he did all he needed to do. Yeah. So veteran Hearn, he's, he's one of them characters that I've had good success with, and a lot of people have disliked, but might just be the way I I play him and the way I use him. I do use him as a bit of a battery because he generates two over here and generating one. Yeah. Although, original him does bring singled out, which... Would you put your car in, or do you think you've got enough killing? You know what? Is Jakar, it looking? Jakar's a glass hammer. Yeah. Jakar needs to be... Do you need him when you've got veteran Minx, who's fives and one against most people? No. I was just about to say, with veteran Minx and, and Chaska, I don't know, I don't think it'd take... OG Minx. There's not enough to pull them away. Yeah, I don't think it'd take OG Minx to... to we can't have anymore because the Falconers. Oh, God. Um, gosh, yeah. Would you take any of those? The Falconers. I have not spent enough time looking no. at the cards, but the bear tooled up as he was. With a Harrier. With a Harrier. Yeah, it's, it's funny. And snared on the opponent. Yeah. So you're dropping a snared AOE and a Harrier AOE. Yeah. Imagine your guys were quite clustered then. Yeah, Imagine them in the Harrier AOE yeah. and the bear coming into them. I think with me with the butchers, with the extra, ch extra attack as well. I think with the butchers, I think Gutter could easily be swapped out with Boar or Tenderizer or I whoever you fancy. I think. I don't think you got the best out of Gutter then. However, the charges. I think Gutter did everything she needed to do. Yeah. Engaging in, in that second turn, engaging and annoying you mm. to keep Scartha pinned down is exactly what a two inch melee character really needs to do. Yeah. Um, but I think you could put Boar in, and he's a massive target which deflects away from the others. Yeah, Boar but I think, I've always found if if you if you'd ignore him. Similar to Philip, if you ignore him, there's a likelihood he won't do as much. Yeah. And I think Ball goes time. far nicer with Philip because yeah. he takes these destruction card effects. 
Um, but I digress, that was still a really, really good match. 10-12 in yeah. the end is it's a hell of a showing for us. Uh, yeah, when Briscoe had the ball, I was not expecting <laughs> that to be 10-12. I was expecting 6-12. And it is something to be yes. said that we do enjoy going back to our original teams. Like oh, yes. playing Butchers versus Hunters, it kind of does just click a little bit. It's a bit of nostalgia for you and me, isn't yeah, it? It's what is. we first started with. You know, it's, it's, it's in, nice to remember the winning. Sat in the lounge in, in <laughs> mine and I was like, yeah, Phyllis crap. Phyllis. Yeah, she's rubbish, you don't want that captain. Yeah. And then season two yeah. happened and then... No, you got PTSD. Uh, but yeah, we'll definitely get them on the channel again in the future because they're they're great teams. Yeah, I think I really like that. Yeah, Hunters lineup. Awesome. So thank you very much for watching, and let us know what you think in the future. Yes. See Don't you. forget if you want to see these videos as well, you can subscribe to our Patreon to get them a couple of months early. Hey, take care. Hi guys, thank you very much for watching our content, it means the world to us. If you'd like to see some more videos, they should be over here. And if you'd like to support our channel, keep these lights on. You can find links to our Patreon and merchandise in the description below. See you later.